Cagney and Lacey is the second best job I ever got. Now, Cagney and Lacey, it, uh, there's a story leading up to it, obviously. I had been uh, pestering Diane DeMeo, who's the casting director. I, I, Cagney and Lacey, it's New York -y. it's right for me, let me do it. <laughs> so she calls me in to read for a gang member. And I'm so desperate to do this show. I, it, it's, Cagney has, is responsible for my brother's death as a gang member, okay? And my character comes in with money and gives it back that she used to get him to go over to her side. So I took the money before I did the audition and I tore up green paper in little pieces and put it in my pocket. So I go in, I do the scene, and then, you know, everybody's there, and I take the paper out. At the end of the scene, I'm supposed to hand it back, and I fling it in the casting director's face. She's covered with green, looks like confetti. Then, as a button on the scene, I spit at her. <laughs> she's covered in saliva, and she's covered in green little confetti paper. You and to, it must be pointed out, you didn't mean to spit. No, I... I was, I put on you. And so <laughs> it ends with me going, oh, God, I did something terrible. And Diane saying, we must never spit on the casting director, ever. I, I left there thinking, that's it. That's the end of showbiz for Bob. It's over. It's over. A week later, I get another call. It's Diane DeMeo. She says, we're writing in a new character, Detective Manny Esposito. If you promise not to spit on me. I'll have you come in and read for this. I went in, I read Barney Rosenswag, who was the exec on it, came down immediately, watched me read again, and said, you got the job. Show up tomorrow. And that was over 50 episodes of absolute acting lessons from two of the best, Tyne Daly and Sharon Gless. I would, I, I, I never went to my dressing room because I would watch the rehearsals. My background was, was drama from Broadway. You know, I was playing a killer who tortured Arlene Francis with a knife at her neck, you know, for an hour and a half. So I, my roots was drama. Uh, so to go back to that, I brought a little comic flair to it and did, and with a little spin in drama, and watched them work every day. I would go in and watch them work when I wasn't working, because I knew I had and still to this day, I had so much to learn. They were wonderful, and, and I, was, I was the set bimbat. I, Sharon and Tyne would pinch my bum when I walked by. they get, get over here and sit on mama. <laughs> oh yeah, hoo-ha! <laughs> oh, the, the dream is alive. Oh yes, those women are gorgeous, gorgeous. Mm -hmm.